I'm doing here, although the wood's wet, it's, it's dead wood. So it's wet on the outside and it only actually gets soaked in to the wood a certain amount. But the heartwood is bone dry. And a quick way to test it, put your tongue on the end and you can taste it's dry. And in a minute, I'm going to make these even thinner and provide a really thin kindling. And uh, I'll make loads of these, feather them up maybe. I've got some birch bark I collected along the route. Um, it was lying there, so I knew, I knew we'd need it. And so I'll show you how to use that with these and we'll get a fire going. And it's absolutely, everything is drenched. You can hear it on the top. All right, so I'll get back to you in a minute. So onto there. I never swing down when I'm working with close stuff. Always use a baton to hold the baton and then protect my fingers. I know all too well the dangers of slipping. Right, so that's no good. Slip. Right, that would be okay there. This one. So suddenly we start to get bit so now the bit I was holding with a bit just another one onto there and onto here okay as I said last night when, when you're on a course, or you're just doing this for fun, everything's really neat and perfect. Out here, get the drumming job done, get a fire on the blend. So I'm just gonna use the flat part of this bit, just to, to hold against, because I don't want my knife slipping and, and so on. So it might just mean that I need to just tidy it up a little bit before I can use it. Start shaving down. These are only short, there's bits we found here, but they'll work just fine as you'll see in a minute. That's a bit thick, so we'll, we'll bat on that one down. So these aren't the prettiest feather sticks. They're not. But they are functional. And by functionality, just got to use whatever you've got without cutting yourself or... Right then, so we're at the, the lighting the fire stage and uh, the fire needs to be insulated when it's wet like this. So I'm going to use the inside of the wood that we chopped to create a, a base for my fire. Then I'm going to scrape this birch bark and get all the fibers up on it, as many of this as I can. And the fact that it's wet, all right, it is wet, it doesn't matter. The, the friction, um, I don't know if the camera will pick up how wet it is, but the, the friction will dry it all off. Then we'll use my feather sticks. And like I said, you know, this is about functionality. You've got to get the job done. So insulate, make a base. And then I'm going to use my second blade, not my main blade just to get scraping.
Uh, I collected quite a lot of this on, on the trail. Okay. And that'll just sizzle away now. And uh, we'll just lay wood around here to, to get it drying from the heat. Thanks a lot for joining me. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.